six months ago. A mysterious dust showed up, blanketing much of the city of Martinez, and it showed up near the refinery. The Martinez Refining Company released 24 tons of chemicals over the city, and today we learned the results of toxicity tests from what was left behind. And Makovic has more on the results and why this is not over yet. And yeah, Julia, the good news is that the chemical release is no longer a public health threat. The bad news is that it quite likely was when it initially happened. A dust came from from the Martinez Refining Company last Thanksgiving. It was what's called spent catalyst, a mix of chemicals that's used to break down crude oil into gasoline, and it does contain heavy metals. It first showed up as a mysterious white dust on people's lawns and cars. The next day, the Martinez Refining Company posted a statement on Facebook claiming responsibility, essentially telling people not to worry that it was non-toxic. But months later, the health department told people living near the refinery not to eat food grown from their own gardens. And shortly after that, the EPA and the FBI stepped in to investigate. That is what led to the soil testing. And while that's over, the legal trouble for the refining company is not. While this does bring some relief in terms of long-term health impacts to our community as a result, um, the lack of timely notification negated our ability as health officials to protect our community. Now, industrial facilities are required by state law to notify the county health department or sheriff's office within 15 minutes of situations like this. It wasn't until two days later when the health department saw what happened by people posting it on social media. The health department says the primary health risk happened during the initial hours and days after the release when people may have breathed in dust particles. What they did was criminal to us. They did not tell us. My son went out and, and husband went out and swiped his hand against a dresser and aerosolized all of that dust. That's in their body. We don't have a report on that yet. Now that is Heidi Taylor who lives near the refinery. She wants to see criminal charges against the Martinez refinery, which the company or the county rather says is a possibility. They're working with the DA's office now, but she is glad that the health advisory for the soil has been lifted. She's an avid gardener and is glad to have the all clear to eat food grown in her yard. So far, no comment from the Martinez refining company. Juliet. And thank you.